What do wolves have to do with beavers? When wolves were eradicated from virtually all of the Northwestern American landscape in the 1930s, this U.S.-led wildlife management control action had long-term ne negative implications for prairies, forested areas, and virtually every type of waterway. With wolves no longer preying on animals that rely on grazing, there were unintended consequences. Ungulates did not have to be vigilant. The behavior of eating, observing, and moving to another location ceased to exist. This led to overgrazing wherever ungulates called their territory. This caused a breakdown in the riparian area, amongst others. Hardest hit were creeks, streams, riverbanks. With the decline of plant life because of overgrazing by ungulates, water quality, fish life, mammal, and plant life suffered immensely. With the return of the wolves, ungulate behavior has reverted back to what it was originally. This has caused deer and elk to no longer be able to stay in one area and overgraze. Now we are seeing the return of the beaver and other water-related wildlife, along with birds. This all makes for a healthier functioning ecosystem, thanks to the wolf and the beaver. Ooh.